On Sunday, September 5, 1943, during World War II an Army B-17 bomber crashed between Palmersville and Latham, Tennessee resulting in the loss of eight airmen's lives. Almost 74 years ago, the crew, consisted of 10 Army airmen who were flying out of the Dyersburg Army Air Base close to Halls, Tennessee. En route to Gulfport, Mississippi became lost just after takeoff. 50 miles off course in the opposite direction that it was first charted. While flying over the northern part of Weekly County, local witnesses stated the plane suddenly exploded midair over the Palmersville and Lathamobian River bottoms. Hugh Brand of Palmersville, who was only 12 years old at the time said he witnessed the plane falling while riding his bicycle with friends west of Palmersville. He said the plane just seemed to come apart as it flew over them and said he could hear it as it fell from the sky in what he describes to have been approximately 5 miles northwest of Palmersville. According to the Dresden Enterprise, others in the Latham and Palmersville area had also witnessed the plane catch fire and explode and that it had been scattered over a large area between the two towns. And stated some of the wreckage came to rest on, the Wilkinson, Stowe and Bondurant farms. Also that two men had parachuted from the plane and had survived but later reports, other than the newspaper, said that one of the two had passed away shortly after being transported back to the air base by army personnel during the night. The newspaper also stated, that one of the surviving airmen, the radio man, had told a resident in the area of the plane being off course. And at the time of the crash, he thought they were flying over part of Mississippi but was told he was in fact in Weekly County, Tennessee. The newspaper reported in their September 24, 1943 issue of the massive amount of equipment that had been brought into Weekly County by the Army to salvage the wreckage. And how the Army had posted guards around the area of the crash for weeks while the cleanup was completed. Harold Reynolds of Palmersville said he remembers seeing all the large equipment coming through town that year and tells about the B-17 crash of 1943. To this day people while hunting or logging in the bottoms tell of finding parts of the plane scattered throughout the woods of the Palmersville and Latham North Fork of the Obion River bottoms. Many people have told tales and stories of it. And it has been passed down by family or friends for many years following this unfortunate tragedy of 1943. Published in 2016 by Robert G. Reynolds.